Okay, we may even go I'm live. And here we're, we're looking at the compound. I've already gotten some video of this, but up there's the entrance, some of our storage containers, and the entrance to Craig and Beth's humble home. And here's Craig. Here's the office dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is a compound that we've been in for a little over eight years, eight and a half years now. And uh, we have rented it for the last six or leased it. The owner is now hoping to sell it. Uh, probably for the first six years that we were here, it seemed like it was more than what we needed. In some respects, obviously when we did the pasture books that we were at full capacity here too. But now literally, and I think Matthew can vouch for this, um. we are at 100% utilization of this compound. That doesn't mean that we don't have room to grow because we've rented some of the space out and we can grow into that at some point. But we're utilizing this compound very well. We're using it for offices, for residence, for storage, and then for both our retail and wholesale. And so it's working out well. Matthew and I have had an opportunity to talk to a couple of people uh, in the last couple of days and said, well, we're thinking about buying the compound. And we've had a uniformly very positive, uh, yes, this is, a, this is as good a location as you're going to get. It's very convenient for customers to come to. Even though it's in a residential area, it's, it's, it's very, very convenient to get to. And it would be hard to find a better location, I believe, for that. And if we do the NTLA project, we have room for offices here, and it would be a good place to do that as well. One of the reasons we like Joss is that we're told, and it seems accurate, that 60% of the Christian ministries in Nigeria are headquartered here in Joss, which means that we have a lot of opportunities to talk to other people about how we can serve them through literature. And not just missionary organizations, but many indigenous ones as well are here, aren't there? Oh, yes. Well, I. Yeah, they're all missionary organizations in a sense, so whether they're indigenous, indigenous or not. And we even have AIDS uh, NGOs that buy Bibles. We have another organization called Beautiful Gate Ministries. Uh, and it's, there's a man named uh, Yuba that does that. And he buy, they make wheelchairs for handicapped people that they can run on the roads. Uh, and with each one, they give them a Bible that they, they get from us. Hmm. Ayuba is, uh, has no use of his legs. And uh, he decided he was going to serve hmm. those people. And uh, so they come and they get two, three hundred Bibles at a time that they give out with the wheelchairs that they make here. So we have a lot of different ministries now that are coming in for Bibles.